Oh. <laughs> you ever, can you even grow facial hair, you little baby? Is that a good look? You like that look? That looks great, doesn't it? And that brings me to my next point. You want to see what is not a good look? And it's similar to this one. When somebody throws a phone into a police officer's face and you can't do anything about it. That's who they're supporting. You're going to violate their First Amendment rights if you do something about it. Watch this one. Vancouver Police Department, VPD, British Columbia. They try to arrest a guy. The mob won't have it. They won't let this, these cops, you got to see this video, guys. Okay, this happened a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks, maybe two weeks, I don't know. But it happened in Vancouver, British Columbia at English Bay. Police go to arrest a kid and he doesn't want to be arrested, of course, right? Well, why would he be? Cops are racist. So he has a right to fight. He has a right to resist. Why wouldn't he think that? And I'm going to... Well, I guess I just gave it away, didn't I? This is what the world is like now. Because you have people like the mayor of Vancouver, Kennedy Stewart, coming out and calling the VPD racist. This is what happens when you say those things about police. This is how a, a crowd responds to police now. They think it's allowed. I want to start this video off by... By just saying a quick, somebody left another comment uh, on my uh, YouTube yesterday. Uh, cops playing music while being recorded, genius. And it's Cody King. We had a we had a good back and forth. Cody disagreed with me. I disagreed with Cody, and it was uh, it was. I don't mind that. You're allowed to disagree with me. I disagree with myself a lot. But Cody, basically, he he writes uh, he writes some good stuff. One thing he wrote, and I'm going to comment, it, comment on it, was, back to my question, why is it a problem if people are exercising their civil rights by recording any all police interactions? It doesn't hurt anyone, Cody said. And then I write back, you stated it doesn't hurry anyone. I'm putting a video out tomorrow, which is today. That might answer your question. Appreciate your message. It was well written. And then he goes on to say, oh, wow, I don't expect people to respond to me. We can disagree, but people don't have to hate each other. So true. There is too much of that from all sides. Yep. Again, thank you. It really means... It means a lot. So I thought that was a great comment. It doesn't hurt anyone, Cody. I think it's getting ridiculous. And I think it's to the point where it's dangerous, it's unsafe, and it's starting to hurt people. You got to watch this video. I want to show you this video. I want you to make, I want you to look for this kid in this video, okay? The VPD, are, I think they're still looking for this guy. <clears throat> they describe him as a white male in his early 20s, okay? They're also looking for another guy. I don't know if they've arrested these additional people. There's also another guy that they're looking for, that guy there. How do they describe him again? The second person is described as a man with a dark complexion. Why are we so scared to talk properly? He has a dark complexion, and this is a white man. Why isn't it? Why isn't the first person described as a man that has a white complexion? You know what I mean? Anyways, ridiculous. Let's go to the video. Here's the video. And I'm going to tell you, even though I already did, but I'm going to tell you at the end on why this happened. And it kind of brings me back to the last video that I just did. Ray Kelly. Coming out and saying, P you, people have a right to record police. Okay. Okay. It's their First Amendment, Amendment right. Can't take that away from them, guys. Here we go. No, let's go, boy. No, let's go. It's a little loud. Okay, see that kid there? Watch that kid. 
Well, not the whole time. Okay, he's, he's got a phone, right? He's too close to the cop. Way too close to the cop, but we allow it now. That's okay now. It's his right. Things have to change. It has to change. Police should be able to say to that kid, back up. Or how about stop recording me? Get away. This is your one warning. You need to beef up the obstruction charge. You need to give the power back to police. One warning, that's it. Stop recording, back up. If you don't stop, I'm arresting you. And the moment that they don't stop, you arrest them immediately. That's how you fix this. This kid is in the way, guys. Clearly obstructing police right away. You see that? That just drives me insane. <laughs> it's his First Amendment right. Needs to stop. That needs to stop. It needs to be snatched out of his hand, thrown on the ground. He needs to be arrested. But we're not doing that. We're not doing that anywhere. Here's the problem, and I'm not putting down these police officers. They don't want to get in any more trouble, okay? They don't want to get in trouble anymore because that's all we do. That's all police do. They get in trouble. The media attacks them. The mayor attacks them. The only way to get control of this goofball is by taking them to the ground and taking them down hard. That's the only way, and I can't wait for that to happen. Watch this. You got to see that again. I like the cop. It's not easy taking down somebody. And when you do it, you got to do it not to look good. You got to make it look bad. That's the only way to do it right. You see that? The cop grabs his phone there. <laughs> Love it. That's right. Now look at that. See that fist? See that fist right there? That's assault. That's assault and that's obstruction. You're not allowed to do that. But that's what the world is now. That's what the world has become. Because of people like Kennedy Stewart. You see that? I love that. I'm sorry. I keep on rewinding. I just love the phone throw. Look at the phone throw. <laughs> just assaulted that other police officer. Okay? Watch. Watch this female police officer. I don't care what anybody says. You throw the book at him. Assault times two. Obstruction. You hear the crowd there? Oh, he took him down too hard. Listen to this. The crowd goes bananas because the, the heroes 
are taking down the bad guy. Do you believe this? The mob has a problem with this. The mob isn't on the police side. The world is insane. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yep. You hear her? Just watch this girl. I'm so glad she's not my daughter. Calling the police racist, yelling at them, screaming at them. What a sweetheart, eh? You don't want to disturb their First Amendment right. Cody, that's how people get hurt, okay? Two officers got assaulted. This kid trying to videotape ends up pushing the female cop down. It's dangerous, and it's unsafe, and the obstruction charge needs to be beefed up in Canada. You need to give the power back to police. No more of this. No more of this. Shouldn't be allowed. Now, if I'm there, I would hope I would say to this police officer or wh whatever he is, I would hope I would say, hey, hey, arrest that kid right there. Racist. Why wouldn't they think that? Why wouldn't kids think that, guys? You have leaders. You have politicians. You have the RCMP commissioner telling you that police are racist. You see that right here, guys? Pay attention to this guy. Watch this. That's why they're looking for that guy. Watch what he does. Right there, puts his hand on the police officer and gives her a little jerk. Should have snatched him right there. I don't need to say it again. We know why this is happening. We know why this is going on. Nobody will eliminate it. The people that tried to do it, like Chief Adam Palmer, the chief of VPD, he came out and said, I'm, I'm offended that you would even suggest that my police force is systemically racist. He came out and said that. I'm liking this guy more and more. I'd rather have him be the RCMP commissioner who said there was systemic racism in policing. Which is a lie. It's not true. Palmer comes out and says, he nips it in the bud, really, by saying, my police force is not systemically racist. And isn't it amazing that we call that brave? All he's doing is telling the truth. You tell the truth nowadays, and you're called brave. It's courageous. That's, that's a little scary, right? So what happens is, and I'm just about done, the union sticks, sticks up for Palmer. I applaud Chief Constable Palmer for having the character d to disagree publicly with the mayor's comments regarding systemic racism. They made a complaint against this mayor. And listen to this. A Vancouver police union leader has complained to the police board saying Mayor Kennedy Stewart's public statements about systemic racism have created a toxic work environment in the force. And that is exactly what you just saw. That is a toxic work environment. 
Could you imagine trying to be a cop nowadays, but these politicians, these leaders won't allow you to be. Power all stripped from them. And that's why the other video where the cop played the little song there, it bugs me that he would get punished for that. Because what do you expect police to do nowadays? Stop it with this standard, held to a higher standard that it's an impossible standard now. You can't meet it. Why are you making it so high? Why is this standard so high? Maybe you need to lower the bar a little bit more. What's that?